Okay, welcome to Little Big Planet 2. For those of you who are not familiar with it, there it is. My name's Ethelred. My real name's Alistair. Okay. There's two pla there's up two planets this time and much more gaming option. Even more if you download it, but I'm not hooked up to the internet. Too many bugs, things like that. My prof my earth, my profile, there we go, it's on the side somewhere like that. Tutorials, the ones that are crossed out I can't get to. Now my moon. And we are going to play the Day of the Egg Thief. You'll love this one. It's the Day of the Egg Thief has got one, two, one, two three, four, not, alright, not one, not two, but five different endings. And we're we're just going to go for three. There we go. What Jamie says is I named the actor. My baby dragons have gone missing. Have so have the kids, the dragon and the dragon eggs. Could you please find them? Also, beware of the teenagers. They don't know you as well as I do. So it's this game is quite good. It's got the um, it's got some things from the old game, which well the new game. Thank you, little big planet, for deleting the old-fashioned one. So it's got the little dragon nursery in. Originally, the old one had the um, little, like, puffy, you know, like, floating materials. Now, this this level has been is has been designed in a whole new way. You're not just swinging anymore from side to side. You're actually bouncing, and that's much more fun than swinging. This is the fun bit of the adventure. And I quite like the second bit because it reminds me of the evening. I quite like the sequel, Day of the Egg Thief. Where a mysterious person has kidnapped the dragon eggs. So, so, all, so for all you dragon fans out there, here it is. So, there's... Two diff there's two ways you can go up and find and go up to the starry sky where you'll meet dragons that don't know you well that wants to eat you and scourge you and all right or you can go over there to that factory the dark starry sky you have to look for somebody called uh, Cecil, which should be playing a game. That doesn't. At when he, and when you, he knows what's happened. He'll say, "Just give me 24 hours on this game," which you break his, which you break his game system. It's awesome. So we're entering the factory. Welcome to the Dragon Factory Intruder. You are looking for the dragons? Well, you're not going to get them. Whoa! We're not falling down there. Because that would be a end of your journey. Trapped forever, he says. Ah, oh, sugar. wanted to get up there. This is from like uh, Victoria's Laboratory, which rocks by the way. 
It really does. See? You hear that bass guitar? Oh yes. That's what I'm talking about. Ba 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 My mummy might say stop. Could you turn that music down? Mums. Quickly, save my brother and sister, said Boff. Yay! The best thing about this, it's actually got baddies in this time. You've got the collectibles, you've got the baddies, whoa. And you've also got bosses like this. You just want to get in your way. Two of them are from Little Big Planet themselves. Why can't I kill you, big fat sumo? I must save the dragons! I'm gonna die, aren't I? I've made the dot that DOS isn't supposed to do that. Now I have to wait until this electric door opens. Sugar and Amy fell. So we've got to do what Boff says, that's the actor's name, and free the dragon. Pull the lever so our dad knows we are here! Okay, I can't remember what I named him. It doesn't matter, it's only the light. It I can pull the lever or I can just leave it off and run to the end. Anyway, Sally says, you have come to save us. Whether you just, whether you have or just come to swing on her. Now, let's see what happens when we play the game in a different way. Forget about saving them. Let's go after the baby dragons this time. So as last time, Jamie says, my, the baby dragons have gone missing, blah, blah, blah. You get the picture right now. Boing! I love talking to you. I love also telling jokes. What, you want me to tell one? Um, uh, uh knock, knock, um, who's there when, uh, uh, dragon, dragon who, um, uh, <laughs> I can't think of anything. <laughs> I think I'm just dragging on a little bit there. So, as before, same choices, up to the, s to the dark scat, up to the dark sky where all the dragons live and where you can pick on some orcs. Oh yes, this game actually has orcs instead of just hearing about them like the last one. Baddies, orcs, you name it, guy. This game has it. Even the uh, weird cakeish baddies. Welcome to... Welcome intruder. Are you after the dragons? Well, you're not going to get them. Whoa! Trapdoor! Oh gosh, so hard to kill. It's so hard to destroy him. It's near some electrical equipment. The bass is getting. The drums are getting involved. 
bass guitar. This is why I chose this song because it's because it's a laboratory and this tune is pretty awesome. When you're playing story mode it's a bit dragging. It, it sends you insane but when you get to the laboratory and you hear it's got rocking guitars, things like that, you think this isn't so bad. And there's the pretty women singing. Quickly, free our brother and sister. Oh, you can see the check the ending in the trap a little bit. Oh, not him again. He's come back to life. Yes. Got him easily this time. You see the music changes slightly, just like riding 60 seconds and yeah this is one of the baddies from Little Big Planet and what he says is that person who says it let's see how you do with this one he says something there but I've aimed the baddie towards the camera to make it look like a cutscene so you don't really find out what he says Yes! Take that! You can even play the game and trying to collect all those um, little bubbles, those little prize bubbles and the um, other bubbles. Now this is the difficult bit. The difficult has just gone up like electric triangles ones that you can find in power stations and remember this is just a game don't try jumping over power station triangles in real life it will hurt free my brothers then you're on is he a girl or what? Fire, which means he's just found a way out of the his trouble. Okay, now we forgetting about the kid dragons, we're forgetting about the baby dragons, we're going straight to the eggs. I hear you. You know, as soon, as soon as I start uploading this to YouTube, I'm going to miss you guys. How could I miss that? Oh yeah, because I'm staring at the camera. Boing. I'll bring it back to not, well, near normal size when I get to the baddie. Well, I can apo I'll apologise for this. I'm sorry if my TV's a bit funny and you can see lines going down it. I'm sorry about that. Just wish you could be here right now witnessing the, um, the little big planet game. Having the appreciation that I have. I thought I overdone myself once I did this. I even tried making it cheat proof so that I couldn't cheat. Or nobody else could cheat. Because we don't like cheaters. Oh. 
if when I go up to the scary sky up there somewhere, past this factory, the difficulty gets very difficult. Fire. Lots of fire. All I can say. Especially when you get to the end and find Cecil. Okay. Ouch! I've made this like one of those what you find in like computers, like the circuitry ship or something. I've made it just like that a little bit. Only this one's a bit more bigger. So, down the computer bit, near the service server bit and into the laboratory quickly save my brothers and sisters this is why I made two checkpoints And that was supposed to be a speech, but we didn't quite get it all. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right. I've just defeated a bagel sumo. Hey, think I can't jump past that. Think again. All I have to do is use the swingy thing. Instead of going right up there, I just jump off it. Whee! kept this part, this part of the music, even though I didn't want to, but it just seemed like a moment of calmness, and then it suddenly gets louder when you enter, enter the mysterious person's hideout, bring it on Drago! Oh, this it I've got this off Little Big Planet 2 and it's a pretty hot record. I mean hot. Yes. I'll just zoom out so you can zoom out a little bit, maybe zoom in a bit. There we go, that'll be perfect. <laughs> you think you can take me, my dragon's eggs? Oh. Well, you've got another thing coming. I give you the Grand Bang Snatcher! So this buddy means business, and you won't be able to find this in Little Big Planet. It's like too old because I made it myself. Yes. One time the baddie got stuck and it was very awkward to defeat him. All I need one more time. He pushes the door open when you get there. Originally I wanted the door closed, but when he pushes it open with his big machine which means it's free towards the ending gulp But after you finish defeating you feel a bit more sense and there he is crying Sorry, I'm just so upset Jamie and the other dragons used to pick on me for not being a real dragon. <laughs> You're right. You're maybe right. No more keeping it in. It's time to tell the truth to J Amy. Thank you. And this this little guitar bit sounds like uh, Mike the Knight 
from like uh, CBBS. Yes, I'm a baby. Judge me now, or never judge me. So when he sees Jamie again, if he sees Jamie, hopefully he dies. <laughs> Don't you think he's going to tell Jamie the truth, how he really feels? And hopefully the Jamie might might say he's sorry and then all the dragons can live in happiness forever. Until the next sequel, Little Big Planet 3. Yeah, we already. And one of the dragons hatched! Now I'm just going to take this time just to chat to you a bit more. The music when you complete that just feels like it's worth it. It just, you get like this good feeling. You might not get the, the feeling like that at watching me play it. Oh well. I'm working on a ch on a game which has ten endings. Pretty madder. Until next time, ta-ta for now.